Oh, hi guys. I have no idea what I'm going to talk about here, so I'm going to make it up. I mean, most of the time I do anyway, but I, you know, I was thinking, oh, I wish I could do some Q&A. Uh, is there still Instagram Live? I guess there is, isn't there? I guess I could do that. I love just being in conversation with actors and artists about, you know, all of it. Spirituality and the spiritual aspect of stuff and the foundational aspect of stuff, technical, the business, career, all of it. But this feedback loop is just me talking to the camera, womp womp. Anyway, I ran into three actors today and I think that there was a common theme happening and maybe because it's pilot season, one was really kind of stressed out about, you know, uh, like hustling during pilot season and, okay, here's the thing. I mean, this is my 25th year in the business and um, pilot season has changed quite a bit over the last 25 years, certainly even over the last five years. And even though there still is a pilot season nowadays, production is happening all year long and it's all like one big season, I think. So for those of you who uh, start to get really maybe anxious about pilot season and you don't have an agent, and you don't have reps and you're not getting out and you, you're like grasping at straws as to what to do, I think you can just like pump your brakes. Don't get, I think the important thing is to remember pilot or no pilot, booking or not booking, one job does not a career make. And so you get a pilot, but then the pilot doesn't get picked up or you get the pilot and then it does get picked up, but it's, but it's not maybe what you thought it would be. So I think we just don't want to always put all of our eggs in one basket because there might be a hole in the bottom of the basket. Um, cracked eggs, you can also make an interesting souffle with, which is also a very interesting theme about kind of working with the stuff that falls apart, right? Because life is so designed actually have a new book coming out, not until June, but the whole premise of the book is what's in the way is the way. And I've talked about this a lot about how we learn how to work with conflict and adversity and obstacles, that those things are not put in our path because there is some entity in the sky saying, ha, I'm going to make your path really hard. It's not really working out that way. It's all things are neutral. And it's sort of the perspective we bring to a situation. And uh, that's really important perspective. Because just think about it, when you, when a friend talks to you about a problem that they have, you have a different kind of perspective because you're not in the same problem that they are facing. So you give them really good advice or you talk to them about how you see it and then they're like, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> or I just said that to a friend of mine. I was like, oh, I wish I could see my own stuff that way. My friend was like, you got this or whatever, right? So I think when we when we feel like we're up against adversity, remember it's there purposefully. Or we can turn it into something purposeful for us to work with. It becomes um, the grist for the mill, right? It becomes sort of, um, I think, a new beginning for uh, a new insight about what you're trying to get over. Or maybe it's something that you keep revisiting over and over again and you're really ready to overcome it because you have different kind of tools and awareness about, okay, I kind of got this message. Um, so all of it is really essential. I kind of went off on a tangent there, but sorry guys. But like I said, I didn't know what I was talking about. I'm just downloading. But I think getting back to the pilot season thing is don't get too stressed about whether or not you're ready to go by February and whether or not you're getting auditions. Um, you know, I think everybody's way, I was telling this person that the most important thing, he was looking at actors and I think he was saying and like, finding where they're repped and stuff like that, which can be a really great resource or finding, um, uh, reps that rep people like you or people who you like or are doing the kind of work that you want to do, which is all great, right? It's all knowledge, however, comma, and that can be aspirational, but you have to be careful because I, I can only speak for myself when I was younger in my twenties, I would look at people that I really admired, but then thought that I had, that the only way to get there was their way. And I never was really encouraged to, I don't know, celebrate my own unique path and my own way. And now, obviously, that's what I've been teaching for so long is that we don't have to covet other people's journey because they have theirs and theirs is ongoing just like yours. And the final chapter isn't written just because you haven't even like gotten out of the starting gate yet. You just have to keep honoring that we can use other people's uh, stories as inspiration, but, but not using it to compare where you are and that your thing isn't working out just because you're not there yet. Does that make sense? So aspirational is great, but not comparison, not comparative. Um, and, and yeah, like, 
your journey is gonna be your journey. So even if you did try to mimic that thing, it would never work anyway, it just wouldn't work. So you don't have to be any anybody but yourself and trust that exactly where you are is where you need to be because if you were somewhere else, you would be, but you're not, you're right here. And that's the point of power. Okay, I'm sure I had other things to talk about too, but I do think that that's really important. Also, this other actor I was talking about, like, uh, you know, always check in with your agents. Like, I don't know, I asked him a question and he couldn't answer it. And I think that it's really important to always remember you're in conversation with your agent. It's like any other really good, healthy relationship. If you didn't talk to your boyfriend for like four weeks, uh, I don't know. You don't, you don't want to bother people, but you want to just check in and like, what's the game plan? How are things going? I got new headshots. Like always stay in conversation about other conversations you had and following up because everybody's busy and sometimes people drop the ball. Okay, hope that helps. Remember to breathe. It's all working out even when it's falling apart and you don't think it's working out, but it is working out. Sometimes there's a higher order for things working out that you can't even see or aren't even a part of yet, so don't worry. Okay, love you, peace out.